hello everyone now uh, now our next points to discuss are static members and that we are discussing the static variable static method static block and static import now the static keyword now let's first understand what is meant by the static what are the static members so basically the class contains the two sections uh, variables that are also called as the instance variables methods they are also called as the instance methods then the variables and the methods are called as instances of the class because every time when the class is instantiated a new copy of the variables and the methods are created they are accessed using the objects and the dot operator then when the members are defined which are common to all objects and accessed without using a particular object that is members belongs to the class as a whole rather than the objects created from the class such a members are called as a static members so when the static keyword is used to make the static members then static members are associated with the class itself rather than the individual objects then the static variables and the static methods are referred to as the class variables and the class methods in order to distinguish from their counterparts instance variables and instance methods so when a method is declared as static it can be accessed before any objects of its class are created and without reference to any object so the static keyword in java is used for the memory management only mainly because they they are common to all objects Uh, the most common example of a static member is the main method it is declared as the static uh, because it must be called before any objects exist the static members are associated with the class itself rather than the objects that's why that is the main reason why these variable are called as the class variables and class methods because uh, these are the referred to as the a uh, class variables and class methods to distinguish from the instance variables and instance methods the next the java static keyword can be a variable can be a method and can be a block so in three types of the types you can use the keyword static first see here the static variable uh, when you declare any variable as a static it is known as a static variable so instance variables declared as static are essentially the global variables and the static variables are very useful because only one copy of the data is to be maintained and that one copy can be referred by all others objects in the class for example suppose there is a count of the number of the objects created then it will be common to all next the static method if you apply the static keyword with any method it is known as a static method a static method belongs to the class rather than the object of a class a static method can be invoked without the need for creating an instance of a class a static method can access the static data member and can can change the value of it so the static methods are called as normal method but without using the objects then the methods declared as static have uh, several restrictions there uh, the first restriction is that they can only call the other static methods they cannot call the non static methods it has to call the static methods only second is that they must only access the static data they cannot access the non static data and they cannot refer to the this or the super in any way so to it cannot refer to the this keyword also and it cannot use the super, super keyword also super it is related to the inheritance then there is a static block 
it is uh, used to initialize the static data member and it is executed uh, before the main method at the time of the class loading the static methods and the variables can be used independently of any object from outside outside of the class in which they are defined to do so there is a need to specify the name of their class followed by the dot operator so the instant variables declared as static are essentially the global variables so when the objects of its class are declared no copy of a static variable is made instead all the instances of the class share the same static variable then the <coughs> static block uh, when you need to do the computation in order to initialize your static variables you can declare a static block which gets executed exactly once and when the class is first loaded so uh, when the static methods and static variables can be used independently then uh, from outside of the class in which they are defined so there are the two general forms uh, forms are there uh, to use the static methods or the variables outside of the class first um, then there are the it can be used by using the class name class name class name and the method name this is the you can access the static method by using the class name dot method that is method name then you can access the static variable by using the class name dot variable name so there is a no need to create a object of that class and uh, access a method or access any variable you can directly access the method and the variables by using the class name then there is a static import there static import the static import feature of the java allows the java programmer to access any static member of a class directly so there is a no need to qualify it by the class name so the static import is uh, like importing the static members so this feature is added uh, with the uh, which eliminates the need of qualifying a static member with the class name the static import declaration is very similar to the import statement the static import statement can be used to import the static members from the classes and use them without qualifying the class name so before introducing the static import feature it is very necessary to use the static member with the qualifying class name but when you use the import statement then there is no need to use the class name you can only uh, use it uh, static members just by using that uh, name there is no need to use the class name of the Um, class name for you uh, for accessing the static members okay thank you